Hello class! Today we are finding area and perimeter. Now what is area and perimeter? The perimeter is the distance or length around a shape. And area is the space inside a shape. To find perimeter, you need to know the length of the sides. So in this case, we have a rectangle with three centimeters on this side and eight centimeters on this side. And since it's a, since it's a rectangle, we know that these sides are the same. So this one is also eight centimeters. And this one is also three centimeters. So when we take eight plus eight plus three plus three, we get 22. And then don't forget your unit of measure. Bring that down. You get 22 centimeters. Now, Moving on to the triangle, we have all of our information here. We have our 8 inches, 7 inches, and 6 inches. What do you guys think we should do? Add them all together, correct. So 7 plus 8 plus 6 equals... What do you guys think? 21. Good job. And then again, don't forget to bring your units down. It is 21 inches. The perimeter is 21 inches. And then lastly, over here, we have a square. We know it's a square because all the sides are the same length. So we have 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. Or if you wanted to get really fancy, you could do 2 to the 4th power, or you could just keep doing it the regular way, which will give you the answer of 8. And this will also give you 8, because it is the same question, just written a different way. Now, once again, don't forget to bring your units down. This is 8 meters. The perimeter of this square is 8 meters. Now, to find area, let's start with this one. To find the area of this rectangle, we need our base and our length. So our A and our B. So we're going to times those. We're going to multiply them together. 8 times 3 equals 24. Good job. And then again, we're going to bring down our units of measure, but this time we're going to add a fancy little 2 here because it is centimeters squared. Now for the triangle, let's pull up our little cheat sheet. Triangle area is base times height divided by 2. So if we have our base and we have our height, we should do 6 times 7 and then divide that by 2. Now what 6 times 7? 42, correct. And then 42 divided by 2 would be 21. Good job, guys. So then again, don't forget to bring your units down, and it's going to be squared this time because we are finding area. Oh, that is inches, sorry. Inches squared. Now, finally, we are just going to find the area on our square. So area, if we look over on our cheat sheet, and just like we did on our first problem, it is A times B. 
So we have an A, we have a B, we have a C, and we have a D. But since they are all the same, we could well think that we're going to do 2 times 2. And that equals 4. And again, that's meters squared. And if it helps you to think of area like rows and columns, we have two meters that go this way, and then two meters that go this way. So you have one, two, three, four. And like over here, I don't know if I can divide this very well. <laughs> oh goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one, two. If you counted all those squares, you would have 24. Because there's three rows of eight squares.